My name is Louis Melanson, Combine Marketing Specialist. What we want to try to do here today is to talk about the controls of the council assembly so that you can take full advantage of the features that are available with the combine. We're going to move the armrest towards the flip it up to where we get a better view for the video. The second armrest that's located over here actually hides the numeric keypads. So if I flip it up, that exposes the keypad and also the numeric keypad located down here. That helps me walk around the InfoView monitor. And if we start with the, uh, the yellow buttons on here, this over here is my Thrasher engagement button. I simply push down on the yellow button, pull up on the black collar, and it is engaged. Then I engage my feeder engagement up the same way. If I want to disengage the units, I simply punch down on both of them, and then now they are disengaged. If I look over a little further to the right, those are my paddle switch that actually operates my feeder speed, my rotor speed, my fan speed, concave up and down. And if I had the optional upper sieve, I would have another switch here. And optional lower sieve, electric sieves, I would have another switch located over here. Look further to the back over here, we have our automatic crop setting switch, which changes us from the number one mode to the number two mode. You simply just flip the switch back and forth from mode two to mode one, and vice versa. The next switch over is our feeder reverser. The feeder reverser, if I flip the switch to the on position, then to rock the feeder back and forth, I actually have to come to the multifunction handle and push the plus button and the minus button and that will allow the feeder to go in the reverse mode and also in the forward mode. The switch next to it is the automatic reel speed switch. I can have it in the off position and have it in the automatic reel speed by pulsing the switch over and then now what will happen is the reel will actually speed up as in conjunction with your ground speed. Moving on to the switch located over here, we have a park switch. It's a safety deal. Anytime you stop the combine for the evening, you would actually take the park brake, engage the park brake switch, and you are ready to uh, go home. Moving on to the console assembly below the multifunction handle. First you have your throttle switch. The throttle switch is simply a pulse up and it will go all the way up to the high RPM. If I want to reduce the RPM, I pulse on the back side of the switch. If I want to turn around and try to set my RPM somewhere in between full RPM and lower RPM, if I take the switch and put my index finger and my thumb on it, and I simply just rock the switch forward and back quickly, it will increase in RPM up to a certain degree. It could be 50 RPM, 60 RPM, 100 RPM, depending on how fast I'm actually rocking the switch back and forth. So that gives me basically infinite control of the speed. 